going on? Fix coming. Good morning. Please sit down. My name is Zaman. Please tell me your names. I'm Saidu Zaman and I'm 2A. My name is Ramesh Chauhan and I'm 2B. Thank you. Sayyid, would you like to tell me something about your school? I study in Don Bosco School, Alakunda. It's a Catholic school. It's a boys' school. So I don't like that. Um, uh, our principal is great. I have a lot of friends there. Thank you. Would you like to tell me something about your hobbies? Well, uh, I love to play basketball. That's my passion. And I love to read novels, classic novels, novels of. Uh, and and stuff like that. And uh, I usually uh, prefer singing as a relaxation. Thank you. You are going to begin your talk. After you finish, you will speak for a minute. And after you finish, he will ask you a question. And so will I. Would you like to begin? Yes. I would like to talk about Bill Gates and the influence that he has had over the our society. Bill Gates, as all of us know, is uh, one of uh, the richest men in the world. And uh, even after being so much, uh, after having so much money, uh, he does not forget the poor and he helps people in Africa uh, who are very poor. And Sick. So, uh, uh, and he's known all, all over the world yes. for the for the kind of things he has done yes. for different people. Yes. Or is he also known only for computers? Well, uh, uh, both ways he he has been a great uh, businessman and. He has been helping people all around the world. Would you like to ask him a question? Uh, what did uh, Bill uh, what, what is the best thing which you like about Bill Gates? The best thing uh, I like about Bill Gates is uh, even after being so uh, much rich, he has not forgot, uh, forgotten about the poor people and obviously he is very intelligent and rich. Why are you actually talking so much about him being rich? Is he known because he is rich or is he known because of all the things he has done for the world? Firstly, he is known for being rich. Other, if he had not been so much rich, most of the people would not have been knowing him. And, uh, Do you also think there's a difference between a man who is rich and a man who is rich in ideas? There is a difference, but you see there are lots of billionaires around the world who are helping people. Who are people. Right, thank you. Would you like to begin your topic? It's not the topic is science technology. When any person hears the word science, he often tends to make an image in his mind. Science deals with complexity, but this is wrong. Science uh, usually comes in our day-to-day lives. Even when we write, when you write with a pen, it's a frictional force which steps in and makes helps you in writing. Uh, when we walk, the frictional force. When we pour to someone, and when we cook, it's a muscle energy which is spending. Even the world is not uh, experiencing a new level of technology that is uh, biotechnology, which we can actually clone ourselves. This happens due to the DNA. So this happens. Due Experts and uh, they do it because of a lot of problems which are present in our body. With this, we can actually advance the world in such a manner that it becomes a great asset to everybody. Moreover, technology also becomes a pain to us when uh, we overuse it. Like if we walk, if we travel in a car and we avoid walking, we usually have tend to have cramps in our legs and our legs become weak. So I would say that technology is both 
human being if you use it in a perfect way. Thank you. Would you like to ask me a question, please? Do you think that science, bio, chemistry, and physics are equally important, or is one more important than the other? Well, uh, science is all integrated of bio. I do think that's a very good question. He is speaking about the overview of science and technology. Please ask him another question. Do you think that uh, all the three things that science is made for are interlinked with each other? Well, absolutely. You have a science textbook with both chemistry, physics, and bio. With all three. And moreover, if you grow up with uh, physical change and the uh, reaction is taking place in the sense chemistry, the physical bit is <coughs> so, the physical bit is biology and uh, moreover we add we walk it's all physics. So I would say that it's all interlinked. However, isn't it true that we have become too dependent on science and technology? Well, that's what I had in my speech. Has man stopped thinking? Haven't we become lazy? Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, man has stopped thinking. If he had stopped thinking that the technology would develop. But yeah, he has become a lot of dependent. He's become really dependent on technology and he's become very busy. You know, now we have remotes and we just switch on the TV while he's sleeping. Thank you. Let's move to the next task. I'm going to give you a problem. And both of you are going to read it and you are going to come to a solution. Remember that you have to discuss with each other. Some of your classmates are underconfident in speaking in English and do not know how to get help. Also, they do not know how to improve their spoken English. With your partner, discuss what could be done well, mom is the underconfidence in English, it's just because they do not speak properly and they do not speak it fluently with their friends. One of the best things they can do is speak it regularly with their friends and parents. They can practice English by looking at the mirror. They can actually read novels, books, and they can read newspapers, which is a very good set for people. I mean, they will know our current affairs and stuff. So they should read a lot and uh, they should pass, so they should improve the vocab by reading books which are including classic books, which is a hobby of mine. So if they do that, the gap will increase. Moreover, if they ask the teachers to help them in such a manner that uh, they could actually speak in a more fluent manner and uh, participate in competition, that would be great for them when speaking English. What are your thoughts here? Um, do you think that even if one of the boys in the class is good in speaking English, the other one of his friends is not good at speaking English, he would not speak in English to the he is speaking in English. So, don't you think that boys need to have the willingness to speak in English? Well, every person here has his own way of speaking in English. So, what are your thoughts about that? Well, even in classes, some of the boys are good in terms of speaking in English. Their friends are not good in speaking in English. So they tend to, to, to actually to, uh, to talk in Hindi rather than speaking in English. What role do you think students play in this problem? Remember, you cannot pass the you cannot pass the whole problem on to the teacher. Talking in English, being underconfident in English is about a problem that the students have. If you blame the teacher, remember that you are passing the buck. You can't do that. Well, so now is actually right. Don't you think that students have to read a lot in order to improve their English? No, they are very nervous while they are speaking. So, how do you think that they can improve on to their English by reading or uh, by listening to songs or by watching movies? I think that 
remember that both of you have to come to a solution which is effective. So the solution I would give is that uh, students should be uh, more vigilant about the English and uh, they should read a lot. The basic necessity in speaking English is to read a lot. And if they read newspapers, that would be great because it would provide them with both current affairs as well as learning English and new vocabulary. So, one of the major solutions can be that they should practice uh, English, speaking English, and they should speak regularly with their friends. And if possible, they could speak it with the mother and father. Right. Do you agree with what he says? Yes, ma'am, I agree with whatever the teacher But at the end of the day, what about motivation? Who is going to be there to motivate? I think the motivation has to come from the teachers as well as the parents. Right, thank you. Thank you so much.